David, wonderful to see you. And I'm Thank hoping you. you've got that crystal ball as to what Mother Nature is thinking about, has in store for us. Let's first start with British Columbia. Yes. This has been unprecedented for them. Well, it truly has, Angie, and it certainly began with that very rush of cold Siberian Arctic air that came down and filled all the nooks and crannies of the province of British Columbia and uh, just the entire province. We had minus 55 wind chills up in uh, the northern part of the province, even down in the south. Uh, Hope British Columbia had a, a minus 26. So any kind of weather system that comes off the coast, well, hey, it beats that cold air and it's going to, uh, to fall to snow. You know what we've seen in the last 31 hours, we've had 31 hours the last three days of snow in, um, in Vancouver, almost a year's worth of snow and winter is going to start tomorrow. Uh, we've seen visibility uh, below uh, a, a kilometer at times, mm -hmm. and we've seen freezing temperatures, I mean, 55 hours in a row with freezing temperatures, and it might be three more days before we see a temperature that would be in the melting. Tomorrow, a high of minus 10. I mean, that's 16 degrees colder mm -hmm. than what you normally expect for Vancouver. Vancouver is one of the least snowiest places in in Canada, and yet they've had a year's worth of snow already. Indeed, there's your postcard right there, David, with all of that snow, and we were just showing footage of people actually walking on the roadways because people yes. can't get around in their cars, and they're not really equipped for this, we know. Oh, uh, truly. Uh, uh, Angie, I mean, it's difficult. I mean, they saw a snowstorm about maybe two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It was, instead of a half-hour commute, it was a 10-hour commute. I mean, people are just not used to it. They don't have, the, say, the, the, the equipment to get rid of it, uh, in, as, as we see in other cities. Mm -hmm. uh, snow tires are, are, are really not, uh, not there. Um, and, and people kind of drive as if it's summer conditions at times. So I, I, I think it's, it's really it, it's, it's, it's tough for people. Yeah. I mean, they're dealing with situations that they're not used to. In some years, they don't get any snow, Angie. Mm -hmm. so, so this has clearly um, uh, been uh, devastating to me. And I'm sure people are thinking, wow, if winter's going to start tomorrow, what yeah. does the rest of the season hold? I know, it's just beginning here. And with that being said, in Ontario, we are keeping a very close eye on that storm system that hit Vancouver. Now it's going to be making its way to Ontario. Can you walk us through, I guess, these days-long storm, I guess we can say, David, that we're expecting in Ontario? Well, Angie, it's not the same storm. I mean, mm -hmm. it's the same cold air. Right. I mean, that cold air is going to rush down to Texas and, and come over to the east. And uh, we're going to see a beginning in two days from now. So we still have a lot of worrying to do before we actually get to see it. I mean, it's going to be a high impact storm for sure. The details are a little still need to be sorted out as we get closer to the event. But I think it's, there's not going to be any record set. No coldest temperature ever, no amounts of snow ever. Mm -hmm. But Angie, you can still get misery when you combine the fact that you're going to have rain and snow, powerful winds and and blowing snow on top of that. So I think it's really this mixed bag of the fact that it's going to start maybe Thursday night, a little bit of snow and then some rain. And then on Friday, we'll, we'll sort of move over to very warm temperatures. I mean, nine degrees uh, in some places in Ontario in terms of the daytime high. And we're going to see a lot of rain associated with that. And then all of a sudden on Friday, it's gonna be a flash freeze. Temperatures and the morning commute might be nine degrees, on the evening commute will be minus seven, a 16 wow. degree drop in less than 12 hours. And so those surfaces are going to become icy and greasy and slick. And then on top of that ice that forms, Angie, you're going to have some blowing snow. Winds are 90 uh, kilometers per hour, maybe 110 near the, near the water. So this is going to be a, a real, a, a, you know, and it's coming at the, the busiest weekend of the year for terms of travel. So it couldn't be worse. If this occurred in the middle of January, we wouldn't be talking about right. it. But because it's happening now, it's going to have an incredible impact. People are recalibrating their travel plans or canceling them. It, it is really uh, uh, an unfortunate situation. It's going to be in Quebec, mm -hmm. all over Ontario and Quebec. And the Atlantic Canada, they're going to get it but it'll primarily be a rain event for them. Not quite the Christmas present we want from Mother Nature, David, and not quite the way we want the start of uh, winter indeed. We appreciate yes. you sort of laying it out all for us. We're going to be prepared here in Ontario and, of course, sending our best wishes, of course, to those in Vancouver. David Phillips for us. Thank you so much for this. David's the Environment, uh, Environment Canada Senior Climatologist. Stay safe, David. Thank you, Angie. You too.